Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we are going into episode number 10 of our Saving Your Disaster campaign, The Meat Grinder. Today is the last day where I'm going to record for this campaign, so uh, within the next two to three sessions we have more episodes, we need to get as much saving in as possible. Um, meaning we need to stabilize it so that uh, the um, uh, original owner of the campaign can successfully finish it. This is going to be our uh, team. We got a neutralize uh, target. Should be really straightforward. I really put uh, most of uh, the rookies uh, in here so that we can get some more experience. Uh, plus uh, Colonel Bones instead of our typical Ranger. As for the overall campaign, I think we're already on a really, really uh, solid track. Um, given where the campaign started with uh, zero soldiers, we have recovered quite a bit. Alright, we landed. So, as I was saying, we have stabilized quite a bit, but um, I think it's a little bit uh, uh, more necessary, or it's necessary to uh, further stabilize the campaign. Elsewise, I fear that all of the good efforts will result in two or three really horrible missions, but then again, we'll spiral into a circle of doom. So, what I intend to do is play a couple of fast missions here, make sure that we get as much content in as possible and essentially uh, hopefully level up an almost entire team that way so two squads uh, that is that way there is plenty of room for error and if i do have enough time uh, we might as well um, are going to kill one of the, the Chosens. I think that that would be probably a stretch overall. Just time-wise, but might want to do it. Move, move, move. Go, go, go. All right. Aggressive move and uh, push in the first mission, with, uh, in the first turn with everyone. We see two packs, essentially mech plus uh, two admins um, over here, and this is maybe even a trigger. No, barely out of range, but just barely. Oh, look at that, I didn't even know, see, I learned something. If you are concealed and you're not moving uh, with a Mac, then that's not going to trigger. That indeed is interesting. Okay, we only got nine uh, enemies uh, to go, which means it's perfectly uh, fine and reasonable to start with this here and we could go for a double explosion and that's one way of dealing with it I suppose the other option is using death from above now let's go for the double explosion we do have enough options to deal with the rest. There we go. That's a dead stun lancer right away. This here plus our shot should be enough to just deal with both of them. There we go. Wipe them completely. Uh, 
I like the idea of pulling another pack, but not right away. Although, I mean, on the upside, we could kill the Codex right away. Hmm. Not necessary to waste any more cooldowns. I am on the move. Playing it cool. Keep your mouth shut. And by that, I mean we're if you say so. going to tactically move up, take the high ground where possible. Put our sniper up here. War horse. Gotta find a good place for him. Probably there, so that's not going to trigger. And then we're just overwatching next turn. We're going to kill the next pick one at a time. I want to show some uh, decent X XCOM, which is not running in reckless and then using all of your cooldowns. So, next up, let's remote start. This would kill the VIP. This would only <coughs> trigger both of the mutants, which is fine. We will not kill the VIP. And by trigger, I really meant we'll kill the mutants. Thanks to an absolutely overpowered uh, remote start skill. Two screen rounds handles the codex, and we've heard a sector pod somewhere. Yeah, we can move up. That's six enemies down. Now that we do have higher level soldiers and are using the Reaper for scouting, you can already see how this is trivializing some of the missions. Moving up with the Reaper. They have a patrol moving here. There's the sector pod I was talking about. Uh, by the way, if they continue to stay there, we could even remote start. Move up, move up. I would like to take some high ground. Um, we can grapple next turn from here to here and use the high ground. Yeah, the squad set um, a negative is too harsh. So we're moving up with everyone. Good, they might as well trigger, which is fine. There's absolutely not, nothing wrong with that. Very nice. Alright. Time for our overdrive. And time. Some good old fashioned grapple. That'll be not perfect because we're not flanking um, the Stun Lancer. Problem is, I also don't want to block the stairs up here. So, I guess what we're going to do, we're actually going to aggressively grapple up here. To showcase why 
There we go. Nice. Good job. I'm going to showcase why a sniper is such a force to be reckoned with. Nice one. Alright, so time for the sniper to finish everyone. Which we're starting with the second part. We still did not um, get the ability to shoot twice with our rifle. So instead of just taking a couple of so and so shots. Since we anyways only have one action, might as well position ourselves here, uh, that'll give us cover and still get rid of the sector pod. Oh no, I forgot, it will also get rid of, it'll also trigger for the dark VIP. How could I do such a newbie mistake? Huh. My bad. Should have knocked him out beforehand. It's okay. We have lost a bit of intel. Which in the grand scheme of things we should have gotten. Specifically since this is such a trivial mission. But I wanted to show off the face-off. Which by the way again was not necessary. There had been plenty other ways of dealing with the situation. Uh, there will be reinforcements. But I don't fear them. We're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. Moving out. Got it. Uh, I guess that'll be okay. Yeah. Suboptimal. I don't like suboptimal. Affirmative. Covering now. Come get some. Guard duty is. So one of the negatives uh, there of not having enough intel is that we're eventually going to run to the problem of how are we going to contact all of the regions. The AD intel here would have certainly been a substantial help. second we got some loot. I don't want to miss out on the loot. Not a problem. So it's one portion to kind of miss uh, the uh, miss the VIP but it's another portion to then also miss the loot. got at least a bit of experience. I mean, from an experience perspective, this was helpful. From an overall uh, strategic layer perspective, uh, the missing intel was not very helpful. Don't get me wrong, it's still a mission that we successfully I have beaten, so we're even getting a flawless mission, but certainly could have done that better. Alright. Let's sprint through a couple more missions just to uh, level up the soldiers. And here we go, we got four promotions, so that's not the worst. 
Well, for Field Medic on Dr. Field, uh, Feel Good, by the way, that's an absolute fantastic name. Heavy Ordnance for Warhorse. Bullseye, get Steady Hand. Um, maybe we're considering giving him Kill Zone and Quick Draw if we have the necessary ability points. Same here. Good, yeah, we got the supplies, but we didn't get the intel. Expectations were high, and yet you have exceeded them. Yeah, I did not fully exceed the expectations. Don't be so kind, unknown stranger. Good, let's take a look. Um, I mean, yeah, we got a couple of options uh, here to further better the... Um, either of the Reapers, but I think we're fine with that. Same here. Let's take a look. Serial is fantastic for Dr. Feelgood. Um, probably not needed though. Let's get the Haywire Protocol, just so he has uh, the most important skills. Good. We got Untouchable, which is fantastic. Blast Padding is really good. Um, a couple of these defensive skills are really, really strong. I think we're still going for quick draw first um, because we could have used it a few times now. Um, and then maybe we're even going for untouchable because it's such a valuable skill, although um, he's in the background, so it's maybe not triggering very often. We got death from above here, yet another time for snake eyes. Can't pass on that. It's just too strong of a skill. I like Conceal um, as an extra skill if you don't have uh, a Reaper with you. This just gives you some more optional uh, optionality. I like Run and Gun a lot for snipers. It's a very nice skill. That is actually not bad. Like if I'm looking at her. She can take multiple shots. Uh, shots, uh, overwatch shots trigger with everything, not just movement. And if we put kill zone on top of it, that would be awesome. Let's get kill zone for her and soon in the future also uh, covering uh, fire. We're one point short uh, to get that, but that would be an awesome sniper. Imagine a kill zone. Um, multiple shots on every single target and covering fire on top of it. This is just crazy. Uh, that's generally a good skill. I like Guardian uh, as an Overwatch option. Uh, since he has so many issues in surviving, I'll give him the extra blast padding here. Not a bad skill either, just having the extra armor uh, can make the difference between life and death from time to time. And we're keeping all of the other skills for now, uh, all of the other ability points for now. Good. Let's waste uh, no time and instead hurry through hopefully at least one more mission. I like that Alarium um, is helpful. He is building a radio relay here as well. So apparently he wanted to... Uh, I haven't started that radio relay, I just uh, noticed that he's building one there as well, meaning we can relatively cheaply get to both uh, South America, um, Mexico, uh, and essentially if we finish our radio relay also to Australia. Good. Soulfire is good. I think we're going to take that. Um, I'm just noticing that we now got a Megastrap, which essentially is the equivalent of a Colonel. So that's pretty damn good. Continuing to remove negative traits. Good. We got more supplies. We're continuing the radio relay over here. And then we are starting to go for each of the um, facilities next. Our action together is complete. 
that's nice. Uh, we now got Colonel Maximilian Richter. So that's our next Colonel. And we got a superior conditioning. So let's see what we got. Um, I think I wanted to uh, continue hunting uh, the Warlock next. Which we can do with one of the Reapers, and the extra health could go on to Vault. You will probably need it. Um, there shouldn't be an ambush, mainly because I don't want to waste any time here. And yeah, that should give us an extra resistance order plus increase um, our progress towards uh, the Warlock. We finally got the promotion uh, for him as a soldier. I like Restoration a lot. I think it's an incredibly good skill if you're struggling with your missions. Capacity Discharger is uh, probably the stronger um, of both. My problem with uh, skilling Capacity Discharger for him is um, he seems to be struggling with the missions and Restoration, uh, just as a, a group heal, is an incredibly strong skill. So this here, you need to survive in order to um, to be useful. And speaking about that, let's give um, Maximilian here superior conditioning, meaning he has almost 20 hit points, um, which is fantastic. Um, we have forgotten to give Volt the superior dodge PCS. We'll do that after the covert ops mission. Good, continuing to speed through this here. Icarus armor is done, very nice. Um, we got some supplies, do we have anything that could help us to, con uh, to become better? Yeah, we already got most of the stuff. We unfortunately got no cores at the moment. That's fine. It is just as I had hoped, Commander. Improved vector rifles. That's exactly what you wanted to see. Nice little breakthrough there. So he's now getting all of the weapon upgrades to just make the weapons even stronger. We got some extra supplies. Look at that. Uh, back to 250 income. Um, and now... Let's get Mexico back, which was the region that I unfortunately failed to protect. Attempting to establish local regional contact. And we got a couple of new targets, so that's going to be um, important to finish this mission. Don't need a scientist and certainly won't, uh, don't want to play the protect the device. Ah, that's a nasty dark event. XCOM will not be concealed at the beginning of uh, the mission. We probably want to counter this one. So yeah. Setting course for the South African sector. Sometimes it's not about the reward, it's about what's not going to happen. Let me put a team together. All right, we got a team. So we're going in with our usual uh, suspect, Snake Eyes uh, Olin uh, is making her return. Um, I got the Skullcheck uh, equipped and Let's see, do we have a codex up here? Yeah, there's a codex, so we're going to use that mission uh, to also skulljack the codex. Should have probably tried to do that uh, last mission. That'll proceed, uh, 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 progress uh, the Golden Path mission a bit further. Also, we'll reduce uh, the avatar progress, so on all a good idea. Alright, so there we are. Let's take a close look. Okay, got seven rounds to destroy the relay. 
I think it was thir uh, 13, 11 or 13 enemies. Doesn't really matter. Good. Let's not waste any time, shall we? I'd like to take the middle ground here. That'll give me access to this high ground so that we can theoretically access the platform over there. Yeah, we're going to immediately go in pretty deep. Commander, that codex provides the ideal opportunity to infiltrate the advent network. Yep, that's uh, exactly what we're going to do. Dragoon here, heads up. Can work. The movements are predictable. We are currently very well hidden. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Interestingly enough, I can't grapple when I'm concealed. That's okay. You can grapple from here to either the, this side or this side, whatever is needed. Taking a central position with aftermath. On it. Good. I think we got a very solid positioning. I will not kill the codex right away because we need it for later. We're going to essentially eradicate every, everything else first. Well, for some reason now I can grapple. Sure what the problem had been in the first place. I don't want to risk kill zone. That'll just get us in trouble. What we can do though is Starting with overdrive. And just triggering the pack for now. So much for our little stealth adventure. Alright, let's continue here. is a meme again. Can't even throw it back there. One thing that we could do is we could force the codex to replicate. It's not the worst idea. It might look strange, but if you think about it, uh, once it has replicated itself, it will teleport somewhere in range, very likely somewhere behind here. So we could actually skull check it right away. And we do have plenty of actions left over, so I decide to take that. Well, that's pretty far away. Not gonna lie, I was hoping for something a bit closer. Uh, okay, whatever. It happens.
Good. Starting with lightning hands. How many is there now? Killing the specter. Or not. Let's move up. I think we got the superior stock, yeah. So that codex here would automatically be dead. Let's give the Spectre here one more try. I'm a bit stingy and don't want to use uh, explosives. What did you That's fine. Now we can take that shot. It's an automatic kill even if we miss. Yep, that's a miss. Three points of damage and it's done. What I would like to do is... Put a Mimic Beacon out here. That will attract the remaining Codex in Snake Eyes. Copy that. He'll stand ready to use his Skull Check. Are you kidding me? It's running away. Okay. Normally, what the AI would do is approach and attack. In rare circumstances, when a pot gets almost annihilated, like we've just seen, the AI decides to cluster up with another pot. In that case, the two back there. Which is, of course, Murphy's Law, the worst potential outcome for us. Alright, moving over here. Uh, we're soon going to have the grapple again. I could have also let the codec simply uh, teleport in um, and use its psionic bomb. That could have been another play. Um, in hindsight, 2020, uh, that probably would have been the right play. I feel light on my feet. At the same time, it costs you a lot of um, actions, because when doing that, um, all of the weapons of your soldiers are going to jam. So naturally, you don't want to do that right away. All right. We theoretically can move in and strike. That's fine. Okay, let's see. We will probably need a mimic beacon here. We can use all in for that. Um, let's start with the elite officer, just softening him up really. Gotta deal with the mech and it's overwatch. Our target, minimal damage. Very nice. We could school check, but that would be asking for trouble at the moment. Let's do this. Moving into cover. Or we want to 
want to kill the advent there. Let's make sure we can get rid of the mech first. That's unfortunately a miss. moving in. That'll be a kill for the Mac. Check it before you get too close. Yeah, in order to flank we have to use run and gun. We still got our inspire ability. So run and gun over here. Let's get rid of the elite officer. Big deal. Good, so that pack is gone. We still got the mimic beacon. Don't want to do anything here. Except really taking the high ground. Eyes on the target. Moving into a bit better position, also spreading out. And then this here. At least we know where they are. Is hopefully going to solve the situation for us. Uh, it's probably going to absorb two attacks. That's fine. The, uh, the two that really counted were absorbed. That's one potential retaliation shot. But thanks to their uh, Star Trooper aim, they failed. Good. Next turn we can we can use our um, skull check. Good. We could easily get out of the psionic bomb. Just gotta make sure that we remove cover and get a pretty damn good shot on all of them. Easy enough. We're going to reload, and then we're going to kill the elite lancer. Of course, optimally you don't want to fight an entire enemy team whilst uh, doing the school check. Reloading here. Who got the mimic beacon? It's okay. Aftermath. So what we're going to do is, I still want to go for the Andromedon here. Let's 
Let's... Yeah, let's start with that. Very nice. It's almost a kill. Good. Now, what we want to do is... Handing over teamwork. That'll give us the option... Uh, to throw a Mimic Beacon. And at the same time... Let's get the Avatar going. Avatar. Highly damaged one though. An alien species that has so far managed to elude capture or observation by resistance forces. I strongly advise a cautious approach. Yeah, we're always cautious. Let's do face off. Andromedon is down, that's good. The avatar teleported down here, which is fine. Good, we got a stock if I'm not mistaken. No, we got a repeater. We did not get the stock here. Okay, fair enough. Let's move closer. Could theoretically get the shell. Okay, so that's a ninety an eighty-nine percent chance. That's our chance. Yeah, that's a ninety percent chance to just kill him. Which is more efficient. Good. Putting the other Mimic Beacon out, the Avatar should be attracted to it. It appears to be capable of repairing its physical wounds. Well, we've already just started with another Sectopod. Good. That wasn't so far important as I didn't want to have a mind control. If we were to use a grenade, that would shred all of the re um, all of the targets required. So let's reload. Still got to optimize the action economy every single time. Let's make sure we're not destroying too much of uh, the building here. So that'll take care of both of um, the highly armored targets. Nice one. Next up, we gotta go into a decent position. How about we're positioning ourselves just up here? I need to shred the sector pod. The sectopod is now in kill range, thanks to blue screen rounds. Let's make sure that we can uh, I guess be okay. contribute meaningfully. Alright, I'll go. Alright, 
right, moving up. I'm taking the soldiers first that are just the furthest from all of the targets, just so that they can be meaningful. Moving up, and this here should be a pretty nice face-off. Little critique uh, for the game. Uh, she certainly could see the, uh, the target, and a dark VIP very much will be shot. But when it comes to the actual literal target here the game refuses to take the shots see and now quick draw yeah, was a good decision because instead of taking a couple of mediocre shots we could theoretically just kill the sector pod right away Okay, so what else do we have now? Yeah. Problem is he's incredibly exposed up here. It's only a 50-50 shot and we're running out of Mimic Beacon, so this is somewhat going to hurt. All right, so that brought us into a peculiar, a peculiar situation. I will do what's uh, best for the team here, which is not to focus too much on the objective. That's no, fine as well, but we got to make sure that everyone survives. So let's. Position ourselves in really solid cover. Don't have the grappling hook yet. But we can move over here. And let's just use an A protocol. Mainly because uh, that'll provide full cover, and if the stun lancer charges in, there's a high chance uh, that he's going to miss. Well, that's fine as well. So the avatar will probably go, uh, be mind controlling someone. Do you see them attacking me? Got to deal with that. Yeah, we got it. Finally. Open up. Got to deal with the mind control first. Oh, that's a perfect grenade. Fire in the hole. Deals damage to the target. Takes away all of the cover. Deals damage to the avatar. Did the crucial mistake of getting into a line of sight of our ranger, sword rather. Now with a little bit more movement we uh, could go up here. But I think this is a very nice chance to actually deal some decent damage. It's good. Hunter's Instinct. Good 
Let's not fail the mission. I shouldn't have used the first shot. He is in full cover. We do not want that. We're instead taking nice core and the superior stock. Superior expanded magazine would have been a bit better. That's fine. Let's hit the avatar. Up to the avatar. That should have been a hit. Running drive. Let's make sure we're not losing the mission. We're going to take some damage, but I don't think that anyone is going to die. Confirm destruction of the relay. The alien transmission is down. Eliminate any remaining hostiles and move to evac. Now lands. Yep, figured. That's a pretty nasty skill. And thanks to his blue screen rounds, that is nasty as well. All right, healing ourselves. Got to deal with the avatar, that's for sure. Let's try to get him out of there. 30% is not good enough. Do we have a cover removal? I think just barely not in range. He has a pretty solid position right there. But we do have, I forgot, we do have a stock, which means we are going to hit him even if we're missing. So let's get him out of this position. Come on, focus. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately the shield um, prevents it to register it as actual damage. <laughs> That's a really nasty combination, I gotta admit. It's only a 50-50. Let's think about it. It's going to teleport away. Aftermath. Take another 50-50 here. I think that is the better choice at the moment. We do have a free shot with Lightning Hands though, which I'm not going to waste. 
unfortunately didn't connect. Again, not a connection. Reload and self repair. really move in a into any decent position here that'll be okay but still very moderate odds to hit anything we're going to give ourselves an a protocol here for an overwatch and for the extra defense I could uh, run and gun in, but I want to save it for next round, as I think it's going to be more important. I'm not going to overwatch, because theoretically if he moves uh, the sniper first, two overwatches could kill it. So that would be dramatic. Wow, that's a more intensive fight than I would have thought. I'm pinned down here. Unfortunately, mind control is very soon going to be off of cooldown. Yep, there we go. Next mind control. And we now need to start killing him rather soon. So Bullseye has finished being mind controlled. We are moving in so that we can flank and hopefully kill. Well, we flanked, we did not kill. into a really nice position and let's finish this guy once and for all has been a pretty, pretty nasty battle overall. One down, thousands to go. Of course, now he has a hair trigger, sure. Well, all that counts at the end is... We killed everyone. 
and we got the objective plus we uh, managed to kill the avatar it was a close one though so yeah lesson learned from the last mission is look uh, to your cooldowns Bladestorm is wonderful, Implaceable, however, is great as well. We're probably going to get both, to be honest, because um, these are very, very helpful skills. We got another potential research objective, which is good. And we got another engineer, which we, I think, cannot even field at that point. Just want to make sure we're training Bladestorm here as well. Such a good ability. Yeah, so as I was saying, it was unfortunate. We were running up into basically three packs at the same time and had uh, to deal with the avatar on top of it and the mission objective, so probably too much uh, to, uh, to do at the same time. We're definitely going to take the intel. Game realizes we, needs more, uh, we need more intel. Oh, wait, I think we made contact at the moment. Yeah, let's... Nah, let's get the intel first. We're continuing making contact afterwards. Perfect. Influence increased. Some additional intel on the chosen as a result of our latest action. We are bound by a common enemy, and together we grow strong. This here is awesome. Technical analysis, again, one of the strongest abilities. Uh, takes away one um, action of all advents the next time that you are uh, facing them. Super, super good. So we got another promotion here, which is fantastic. Before we put anyone in there, though, I, did, uh, I mentioned that we wanted to put the PCS of superior agility onto our frontliner. If you're looking at his dodge, it's already at 40. Not perfect, but I mean, that's almost every second shot being dodged. And with focus build up, it will be even more. So we're continuing uh, this here. Let's get the Templar going. We need another promotion. How about uh, Bullseye promoting him to a Colonel? Yeah, that looks pretty damn good. And we got a bit of an ambush, uh, ambush uh, chance. And maybe someone's getting wounded, but that's fine. I like the promotion. We will walk hand in hand. And we're getting another um, stronghold location, plus we're getting more intel. Let me check how far are we. It's already an hour, I would say. We're going until the next mission pops up and then um, this is it. Uh, going for sustain. Our Psy operative almost has all of the abilities that are relevant. Negative traits removed. Perfect. Uh, which means we can remove even more negative traits. Very good. So that's 40 intel. There's even more intel. I think we're fine for now. Let's continue making contact. We do have uh, enough intel to make one more contact. And we had a successful month overall. Efforts have proven to be so mediocre. What? The efforts have been so mediocre? 
I believe you misunderstand the situation, my friend. Good. Theoretically, theoretically, the chosen can now launch uh, can now launch an attack on the Avenger. She's done with her progress. Sabotage. Dark event, Avenger Assault. So we probably want to get rid of her before that happens. That is the Hunter though. Where is her stronghold? Commander will need to completely scan this region before we can establish contact with the local resistance. I'd advise we stick around and finish the job, but the choice um, is yours. So it seems as if he has not yet found her stronghold. Or you can't have multiple strongholds on the map, that is an, a possibility as well. Let's shortly check for our soldiers. Maybe the next mission is going to uh, be killing. One of uh, the chosen, so we could go in. And we should probably wait one more day for the lightly wounded. Um, I don't to feel good to come back. And in turn have greatly we can the final uh, put of all of these project. here in the mission to the even get some more experience, and then we're probably going to human add to begin immediately. the Reaper. What is the weakness of the Hunter? Adversary against Templars, so we might want to actually approach him with a Templar, which means two more days. And that's fine, we can get behind that. Getting an emergency signal from our people to and there's an ambush. Let's do that real quick. Firebrand is en route to their position. And then we're ending today's session. Alright, here we go. You've got no time to waste. Break cover and move to the extraction point on the double. Redford always makes it uh, sound very drastic. We do have three high-level soldiers on this mission, so really nothing should stand a chance against us. Of course, they are spawning. Wraith One, your team is compromised. We're right there. Advent response forces inbound on your position. Here I come. Go overwatch. Good. Overwatching. And if we're lucky, that should probably already kill them. So called peacekeepers. Alright, one down. You can't handle me. Yep. That's what I would call a very smooth uh, landing. <laughs> they literally were jumping out of the air. Sky Ranger. 
And the next thing they knew was how they got mercilessly slaughtered. Good, let's move up and hurry a bit. Ain't got all day. Take us off a swarm nearby. It's fine for me. That seems reasonable. Here I come. I think we had the between the eye mod, which means every single hit, even with a pistol, will automatically kill them. Alright, good enough. I take the high road. And that's where the sniper excels. How many is that now? You see that? Just getting rid of all of the loss. turn we can engage. For now everyone's just an overwatch. We, by the way, got some extra focus here for Volt. This here should trigger the advent. It's not. Interesting. already triggered by um, by the lost. There's some extra loot. Perfect. Let's get this here. And this here. Up. And moving up. <sighs> that was a stupid mistake. Whilst I was moving, I was like, "Yeah, theoretically, that could trigger some uh, something." Yeah, my bad. He couldn't have killed us, but nonetheless. Let's do this. Don't like making stupid mistakes. I was impatient, and you should never try to move further than what you've explored. Tired of waiting around. Gotta get rid of him. Unfortunately, 50-50 is the best we can do at this point. And mutants, by the way, are the only thing that I wouldn't want to rush with our Templar. You can't handle me. I'll maintain my watch. We'll get another uh, swarm of losts. Keep it 
Very nice. Here. Finally getting the last bit of focus. And there's the Andromedon. Going up. Destroy its cover, remove its armor. Then we're going to rush it. Can't fully reach it, which is unfortunate. Theoretically, summon a ghost. No, why not? Ghost still gets its actions. And it will be able to not only tank it, but also parry and get Bladestorm because it takes over the abilities of its host. There's the Bladestorm. There's the parry. Done. Let's do this. Moving in. Let's kill it real quick. turn we can leave. Took a bit longer than expected. Just wanted to rush through it. But we got some loot out of it. Which is helpful. The experience was not absolutely needed. Uh, because we already got the promotion. Perfect, here we go. If we look at the cohesion, none of them is really liking one another. Got a scope, not the best loot, but still okay. And we got the promotion here. Double Agent! That is a really nice faction reward. Uh, so there is a potential on every single mission that an enemy will join. So let's take a look. We got many many new upgrades here. This here isn't bad either. Yes, orders. Not the highest priority though. I like the promotion plus the upgrade. Probably going to do that. Very, um, very nice reward. Sabotage is incredibly good. Um, reducing avatar progress by one every turn. I'm probably going to do that for him uh, because it is again one of the strongest orders and he seems to be struggling. Another promotion here, which is good. And 
another promotion up here. So quite a few promotions. Uh, we're going to start with this here because it is so super strong. And in terms of getting that really nice bonus to aim, how about we're giving it to someone who could use it, bones could use it, soldier wounded, yeah, that's fine. Seven days is good. And this brings us to the end of today's episode because we're uh, the next one. I oh, will directly deal with the chosen uh, ones. We now do have a promoted um, Colonel Sharpshooter. I am going to take Fanfire. It's an incredibly good ability. Serial isn't bad either. But if you do have Fanfire and blue screen rounds, you don't need to worry about any robotic uh, units. It's um, single-handedly kills sectopods. Very, very strong ability. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please do not forget to subscribe or leave a like. Uh, that always helps uh, the channel. And take care until the hopefully next episode. Bye-bye.